What's good? It's your girl Liz and we're back with another video. How y'all feeling today? I'm feeling hype. Like this right here? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a moment so I'm just I'm very happy with how my hair came out and if you want to see me dye my hair and get to this color and these brows just keep on watching let's get into it all right so we're gonna start with the lightening process I'm gonna start by mixing the bleach so I'm using this Clairol professional um, de-dusted extra strain powder liner it looks like this i'm using 30 developer because it's not the strongest strength but it's not the weakest my hair is pretty dark um but i want to be able to watch it and be able to rinse it out um once it's the color i need it to be um so that i get less damage for professional use only well but i'm gonna take i don't know two two little things first then i'm gonna add my developer i'm doing one part powder one part developer we'll see how that goes i think i'm gonna need more than this so i'm gonna go ahead and add another scoop and some more developer oh that smell is really getting me ah! wow um so advice don't mix it near your face like it, it will splash into your nose <laughs> okay so this is kind of like the consistency i got it probably goes up to like here i'm gonna start by sectioning my hair into four sections I forgot to mention I'm starting with my hair it's so dirty like this is just after I took it out of a protective style so it's like not washed it's not clean or anything so I'm gonna use some gloves because I don't it's gonna be easier to just um, like put it in my hair with my hands so I'm just put some gloves on to be safe okay so I'm gonna start in the front because this is gonna be what's most seen also if it does come out gradient like I would rather the back to be lighter than or the back to be darker than the front take little sections like this I see how dirty that is ew oh okay before we even start, I'm gonna take some Vaseline and put it around my edges and my ears. Make sure I don't burn my skin. Now, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take the bleach. Oh my God, I... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take the bleach, some on my hands, and I'm gonna put it in my hair. I'm not gonna do my roots just yet because um, your roots actually lighten faster because it's like close to your scalp, which has more heat. And I don't want my roots to be lighter than the rest of my hair, so. I'm also gonna take a comb and comb that through. Wow, what? That was so fast. That was so fast. That was so fast, y'all. Oh my God. Let me go faster because <sighs> I just want it to be even. Alright y'all, so we're back. I shampooed my hair just to wash all the bleach on and I rinsed it very well. 
this is what it's looking like so i think in total this was sat on my hair for like 25 minutes that's scary to me <laughs> i would advise using 20 developer though because that it just developed way too fast for me to be able to like i don't know it was developing so fast i am seeing the vision <laughs> I really am seeing the vision like this is not it, but it's about to be. We're gonna go ahead and start mixing our colors. So I have some Adore um, semi-permanent hair dyes. I have French cognac, I have Cajun spice, and I have Sienna brown. And I want it to be ginger, but I want it to be brown a little brown like i want it to be orange but i want it to be brown i want it i we're gonna see if i mix these right but i'm gonna use mostly cajun spice and the others to just um make it the tone that i want <laughs> yeah that's most of the bottle <laughs> and then for french cognac because this is gonna make it like more ginger because Cajun spice can be a little deep. So I'm gonna lighten it. Mm. Okay. And for this brown, I'm putting a little bit. Like I'm putting, I'm putting a little. Like I'm putting, oop, that's it. <laughs> and I'm gonna mix, 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 mix. So I used three fourths bottle of Cajun spice. I used about half a bottle, more or less, of French cognac and two drops of this Sienna Brown. We're gonna start with the Vaseline again. I'm gonna start with this, this section right here. Hey Siri, play Ungodly Hour by Chloe and Hallie. Playing Ungodly Hour by Chloe and Hallie. Okay, that was not enough dye for my whole head, so we're gonna keep mixing. All right, y'all, I think there's enough in my hair, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on a plastic cap. And another one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> Just gotta make sure we're covered. Okay, it says to process with heat for 15 minutes, so let's do that. Okay, so we're back. I only did it for 10 minutes because my arms were tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo, condition, and deep condition my hair, and we'll be back. Let's see, I haven't even, I haven't seen it yet. So here we go. Oh my gosh, I think it's so cute. This is. I really want to execute this look where I have this hair, this hair right here, and my eyebrows are bleached. I'm going to bleach them and if it looks crazy, I'll just dye them. I'll tint them to this color because I don't have time to be looking crazy. How to do these brows? <laughs> I feel delusional. Okay, so of course we're going to start by mixing our bleach <laughs> i'm using the same bleach by the way this time i'm using 20 developer too i might need to use 10 but i don't got 10 
Okay, and this time I'm timing it. Like, I'm not playing with y'all. I'm gonna do seven minutes, I think. Okay. You know Why does... I just put that on my brow. I'm going to get to the green. So it's been seven minutes, but it's not, we trying to get, we trying to get bleached brows, okay? So we're gonna go another seven minutes. Okay, so we're back. I don't know if you can see it, it looks really bright on the monitor, but this is the level they're at right now. And I think I want to wipe it off, I think. That's definitely lighter than I thought it was. All right, y'all. This is what it looks like. Um, I like it. I think at first I was like, I look crazy. Like I look crazy, but I don't really think I look that crazy now that it's like sad for a second. But I do think that it will look cuter if my brows match my hair. I still want my brows to be a little lighter than my hair. So I'm gonna dye them with the French cognac only. So I'm gonna just do Vaseline again. Then we just put the dye on. And I'm gonna let that sit for, I don't know, seven minutes. Let's just do seven minutes. Let's see what, see where we get. All right, y'all, so this is how they came out. I washed the dye off and I like them like this, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, I like how it's lighter than my hair, but still orange. It's a good compromise, right? Right. I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair and then go to sleep and I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. So I just twisted my hair and I'm about to trim my ends. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So I make sure my hair is in twists and I've already done the front a little bit, but I essentially just fill it until, I don't know how to show this. It's like you can feel where the dead ends are and I just snip a little bit, just wherever the dead ends are. Like here, you see that? It's like right there or like right there where it becomes really thin. That's where I would chop. It's your girl Liz, your favorite ginger like. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how long I really wanted this look. Like I've been thinking about this for like at least thinking about it for over a year and I said I was gonna do it for like six months and look here we are I absolutely love it like the color came out exactly how I wanted it to exactly how I envisioned I my curls are still popping <laughs> I'm just really happy in the brows I'm glad I decided to dye them um, and keep them lighter than my hair but it's still you know, you see the vision, you see the vision. But are you seeing this though? Like, are you, are you, are you? <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that this was enjoyable for you to watch. I'm definitely so happy with my results um, and I'll see you guys in my next video.